Hello, this is Ms. Pat from Samuels Public Library. Today in Science Scouts, we're going to be learning about osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water, and we're going to talk about how it moves and why it moves. First, we're going to read our story called The Giant Jumpery. This is by Julia Donaldson and Helen Oxenberry. Rabbit was hopping home one day when he heard a loud voice coming from inside his burrow. I am the giant jumperee, and I am as scary as can be. Help, help, cried Rabbit. What's the matter, Rabbit, asked Cat. There's a giant jumperee in my burrow, said Rabbit. Don't worry, said Cat. I'll slink inside and pounce on him. Cat slunk up to the burrow, but just as she was about to slink inside, she heard a loud voice. I am the giant jumperee, and I'll squash you like a flea. Help, help, meowed Cat. What's the matter, Cat? asked Bear. There's a giant jumperee in Rabbit's burrow, said Cat. Don't worry, said Bear. I'll put my big furry paw inside and knock him down. So Bear swaggered up to the burrow, but just as he put his big furry paw inside, he heard a loud voice. I am the giant jumperee, and I'll sting you like a bee. Help, help, bellowed Bear. What's the matter? asked Elephant. There's a giant jumperee in Rabbit's burrow, said Bear. Don't worry, said Elephant. I'll wrap my trunk around him and toss him away. So Elephant stomped up to the burrow, but just as he put his long gray trunk inside, he heard a loud voice. I am the giant jumperee, and I'm taller than a tree. Help, help, trumpeted Elephant. What's the matter, Elephant? asked Mama Frog. There's a giant jumperee in Rabbit's burrow, said Elephant. Don't worry, said Mama Frog. I'll tell him to come out. No, no, don't do that, said all the other animals. He's as scary as can be, said Rabbit. He can squash you like a flea, said Cat. He can sting you like a bee, said Bear. And he's taller than a tree, said Elephant. But Mama Frog took no notice of them. She jumped up to the burrow. I am the giant jumperee, and you're terrified of me, came the loud voice. The other animals backed away, but Mama Frog wasn't scared. Come on out, giant jumperee, she said. You're the one we want to see, so I am counting up to three. One, two, three. And out jumped Baby Frog. Hi, Mama, I'm the giant jumperee. And you're coming home for tea, said Mama Frog. Looks like they're all going to go join for tea. Okay, so Baby Frog, because he was inside a little place, could make his voice sound really big. And because of what he was saying, saying he was a giant jumpery, all the animals were afraid of him. So today with osmosis, we're going to make a little gummy bear a little bit bigger. All right, but let's find out what osmosis is first. Okay. So I said before, osmosis is the movement of water. Okay, and it's from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Okay. Think of it this way. When you're watching a TV show and they shove everything in the closet and they close the door, that's high concentration. And what happens when you open that door? Everything falls out, right? 
that's low concentration. It's going to go from high to low concentration. And that's what this does. But osmosis is the movement of water, not toys and clothes. It's the movement of water from high to low. So let's look at this picture here. We got a lot of them here on the side. You got this semi-permeable membrane. Okay, that's kind of like a really thin layer, kind of like your skin, right in the middle of the water. And this is low concentration. So let's think of this membrane here as the door to your closet. Okay, and it's going to move from high to low. Right, and it's going to do that until it's equal on both sides. Then you have an isotonic solution. Okay, and that means you have the same amount on the inside as you do on the outside. So they have six on the inside and they have six on the outside. Right, and that's going to be isotonic. It then went across this little white membrane here. Right, and the cell, which is what your body is made up of, water is always trying to reach an equal concentration on both sides. That means it wants to be the same. So we're not going to count these ones, but you can see how they got the same amount on both sides. And here's your membrane right here or your door. Okay, and they have the same amount on both sides. Now, when we do this experiment today, we're going to take a little gummy bear. Gummies don't have a lot of water in them, okay? They're not juicy. So they're gonna be the low concentration. You're gonna put it in a cup of water. When you come in and ask for a science kit from Samuel's Library, we're gonna give you a little cup. You'll have to fill it up with water. We're gonna give you two gummy bears, okay? And what you're gonna do is fill up the cup of water and put one gummy in there. Keep the other one for um, demonstration, okay? And this one here, you can see, this is the little one. This is the one you'll keep. You'll keep the yellow one out. And this one doesn't have a lot of water in it. He's low concentration. But when we put this one into the cup of water, water went from the cup, because that's high concentration, into the gummy, which is low concentration. And look what happened to our gummy. He kind of got distorted. Okay, he's, He doesn't look like a gummy anymore. He kind of got really big and kind of looked like a bubble. And if they kept him in there too long, he's going to kind of explode. Mine hasn't quite exploded yet. Um, he's been in there a, a day or so. If you keep it in there about four hours, you'll see he's bigger. Mine's been in there now two days. And if I keep him in there two more days, he's actually going to explode. All right. So let me show you what mine looks like. All right. So this is the one we're gonna start with, okay? And you can see how, how low he is, how small he is. All right, I'm gonna put him sideways and I'm gonna pick up my cup, all right? And I want you to see, I might have to turn him around because he's on the side here. All right, mine is starting to dissolve, all right? so. My little gummy should only be about this big. Right now, he's kind of up to here on the water. He's a little hard to see because he's turned the water white, uh, uh, pink, minus both pink. Um, so let me see if I can show you guys. All right, so there's my gummy. And he looks a lot bigger. You might even see some dark things floating in there. Okay. You now remember, the water's going to keep going in. He's eventually going to just, he's going to fall apart. Ours is going to fall apart. The gummy will fall apart. So you're not going to be able to eat this one. Um, the dark spot that was floating in there, that's the sugar that fell apart already from my gummy and started growing a little mold. So we don't want to leave them in there too long. Now, if you guys got any dinosaurs from our reading program, they weren't this small, but they were small. You put them in water and they got bigger. Now this gummy is not going to get as big as that. So don't put it in a giant five, um, five gallon bucket or anything. He's not going to get that big, right? Just put him in the little cup that we're going to give you. And you'll, you'll see he gets big. Reason I gave you two is so you can eat the other one. Okay. This way you hold it onto it for a day and you can see what size it is. See that it got bigger, but this one's going to kind of be slimy. He's going to kind of fall apart if you try and pick him up. And if you leave them in there like I did too long, you're going to end up with a little sugar mold and you don't want to eat that stuff. Okay. But this is osmosis. Remember, this is high concentration and this is low concentration and the water is moving from here to in here. Okay. And it's moving past that sugar. So that's why it's right. 
And again, mine is almost the same length as the um, water. Okay, you can see it all the way up to there. Okay, from this size. So he got pretty big. That's osmosis. All right. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And I will, again, come into the library, request a science kit for osmosis. You'll get one of those as long as we have a supply. I think we have about 25 of them. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.